When Jesus drew near to Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside, begging. As he heard the crowd passing by, he inquired what was happening, and they told him that Jesus of Nazareth was going by. Then he cried out, "Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me." My dear friends, Bartimaeus, this blind person. He is no more blind because he is no. He knows that he is blind. To know that you are blind is a blessing. To know that you are sick is a blessing. To know that you are a sinner is a blessing. What happens in with blindness? You you are completely ignorant of your blindness. How can you explain it? You cannot explain when you if you are blind. all the other deformities you can explain one comes one when it comes to blindness when you are blind how to explain that you are blind so you can be physically blind it's more than that sometimes you can be spiritually blind once you are spiritually blind you are completely lost i mean then you don't have any clue to move on when you are blind spiritually others can't see you and uh, you can't see yourself and in the blindness you 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 can't see others and in that blindness you see something when you are spiritually blind you see something wrong which is wrong as right you will see something with some something which is right as wrong and you don't you don't see the wrong you don't identify the right you are when you are blind my dear friends so that's exactly what this what the first reading book of revelation john so john is see looking seeing this vision in his own platmos his own island and the lord says the revelation of the of jesus christ god give it to him to let his servants know what is soon to take place now see how he sees in the spirit once you are in the spirit you will see you begin to see your spiritual blindness would go john who reports everything he saw for this is the word of god and the declaration of jesus christ happy is the one who reads aloud these prophetic words and happy those who hear them and treasure everything written here for the time is near now mother mary treasured everything in her heart now the lord is asking us to treasure everything happy is the one who is read aloud and listens the prophetic word of god so that discards your blindness so if you are blind you will never you will never see see the word write this to the angel of the church of ephesus thus says the lord who holds the seven stars in the right and said who walks among the seven golden lampstands i know your works now read carefully see carefully how the lord is judging this person i know your words i know your works your different your difficulties and your patient suffering i know you cannot tolerate evil doers but have tested those who call themselves apostles and have proved them to be liars you are you are perceived and have suffered for my name without losing heart how this is of course what he had the 99 and there's a lost side also it's different The word says, "Nevertheless, I have this complaint against you." What is the complaint? Now, that of course, this poor person never experienced that, never identifies it. You have preserved and has suffered. Nevertheless, I have this complaint against you: you have lost your first love. Now it has just happened. Now see all the things that he have endured, suffered. but then you have forgotten you have lost the first love 
To see that, you have to see properly. That's the terrible blindness. The way I loved, begin to love the Lord, I have forgotten it. Now I, it's my plan, it's my pl strategy. I have lost that first love. The simple way how you, simply how you went to the, in, in, in the presence of the, the Lord. How you, how you worshipped Him. And you have lost it. The original love. Nevertheless, I have complained. You have lost your first love. Remember from where you have fallen. You don't know that even though you have fallen, you are completely blind. And repent and do what you used to do, used to do before. If not, I will come to you and res remove your lampstand from its place. This I will do unless you repent. Now this repentance is turning, having a U-turn. Thinking to do the, the very works I used to do when I was born. That first love. So that's exactly how this person, Bartimaeus, is shouting. Then the, and he inquired and was happening. What was happening? And they told that Jesus of Nazareth was going by. Then he cried out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on you. You see on me. My dear friends, you read Romans chapter 10 verse 10. If you believe in your heart, you will, you will be justified, you will be righteous. But then once you pr pronounce it with your mouth, you will be saved. So that's exactly what's going to happen in his life. So this, this particular blind person is shouting, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. It's a very deep, profound statement. Faith comes by hearing. Now he sees, he, sees, he hears, that this, this particular Jesus, this Rabbi is going in that way. And he had heard that he has healed many people. So that's, that's the very reason this blind person is shouting now, shouting to the Lord. And then he cried out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. How a person can forgive another person's, another person's sins? So see, he strongly believed, I'm sick because I have sinned. It can happen. Sickness can be connected to your sin, my dear friends. So that's, that's how the paralytic was given. He was, he, he, he was, the Lord said, I will forgive your sins, take up your mat and go. That's how. So there is connection with your sickness. There's connection. The Lord is saying, what do you want? The people in the front of, the, of him scolded him, be quiet, and said, but he cried out all the more. Now this is this person's caliber, character. Of course, when you, when you want to, now this blind person just want that connection back, that original love, original love. And he says, Lord, Lord, I want, I want to be healed. And of course, in the vicinity and the serenity, in the, in the environment, it won't be supportive all the time. There can be stumbling blocks, hurdles that you have overcome. They asked him to be quiet. And he shout all the more. Son of David. Son of David means Messiah. So he believes in this person. All the people who saw him could not believe. Their sight disturbed their, their, their vision. Of course, of course, he could have... This impediment, this, this uh, scarcity has helped him to see. And then what do you want me to do for you? Jesus, son of David. And Jesus stopped and ordered the blind man to be brought to him. And when he came near, now imagine, the very people, some people blocked him. And also now the Lord is saying, ask that, but another group of people to take him closer to him. And, and he, of course, <coughs> one crowd blocked him. Others helped him to come to the Lord. And Jesus asked a very strange question. What do you want me to do for you? That's, that's, that's not a question to ask. But then it's important that you, you own it and have it. What do you want? Do you want to be healed? Or blindness can be, you are used to that blindness. Do you really want to be healed? That of course important. Then he says, Lord, I want... What I want. Then he said, receive your sight. 
your faith has saved you at once the blind person was able to see and he followed jesus giving praise to god and all the people who were they are also praise god looking at see, seeing the lord he started following the path way because jesus is the way truth and life think about your blindness shout to the lord stay connected and do go back to your original love amen may god bless you